so you will notice that I've actually brought in some doors and windows so they're actually going to be available to you in the download in the description box all you need to do is just to download people have made life easy by creating all these things that all you need to do is just to pick them and fix them but like I was I've been em emphasizing layers is very important and when you click on this you will discover that they came in with their own layers so you must try to like convert them to your layers so how do you go about doing that the first thing is you you need to do is to create your layer maybe you can create let's say windows and doors windows and doors so have that so we change the color probably to blue so that we'll notice the change so we say okay so you will notice that once you pick it at once the whole thing is selected any point you click on it the whole thing is selected which is telling you that is a is a block so the first thing i expected to do is to explode so you highlight all then you click on ex after that sorry you highlight all then you click click on explode so this you see is now selecting individually and not as a single entity so now you can now highlight all then go back to your layers then assign this to it so you see that it's not all that is even done so we still have to like work on it while let's say this okay, is on that but probably it's still a block let's see let's explode it ex click on explode uh, so let's go back here your observe here is not working by layer so we have to change it to by layer huh? so we are back so everything is okay but we still want our stops to be in block so what we'll do is we select each one we type in bl sorry not bl bl block comes up you label it maybe w d1 maybe d1 say d1 then you come and click on okay the block definition has changed do you want to redefine see redefine so you say okay you have that you see it's picking as one now so you pick on this and you say okay type in your bl so i'm bl let's say d2 okay so pick on this bl okay d3 yeah okay so i have this so for our windows click on this okay you see bl also block blocking it say w1 so, so okay so this say bl block so we we'll label it as w2 say okay and finally this let's select it this one so affect that one let's have it like this we we'll say pl you can block say w3 say okay so you see all are now acting as one entity so you now discover that once you click on this there are different layers there are now layers that you've not created so how do we get away with as in do away with these layers to do that all you need to do is to ensure that you are not on the layer on the layer you are trying to remove we are on add so i think we are safe so you type in purge p u r g e click on enter what this command does is it removes every unnecessary layer any layer that is not in use in your drawing it removes it ensure that these two are clicked then you click on purge all afterwards click on purge all items then you close then you can come back and see for yourself can you see if you if you can probably pause your video and rewind it you, you will discover that those unnecessary layers are gone everything is now according to our layers so let me quickly show you what's the importance of layer so let's assume i don't want to see this 
in my drawing probably i'm trying to clean up my drawing so i don't want to see doors and windows all i need to do is to come to my layers doors and window or put it off can you see it is gone i can also toggle it on so let's toggle off the wall and see you see all the walls are gone if i decide to toggle off the arch turn off the layer is a current layer so we have to change layer uh, let's say grid lines well, so let's go back to this let's say arch you see all arches are gone so that is the importance of layer it makes your work neat so i'll quickly show you how to place one one door one window and the procedure and the things you should consider when when placing your doors and windows then i will pause the video you do the rest then we'll continue from there so let's quickly pick this door i think let's see the dimension i'll be sure okay it's a 900 it's a 900 door so we'll pick it like this so see copy since we have so many places we are placing it otherwise we'll just move ensure you toggle off your auto corner so you bring it here observe observe my placement of wall it's called uh, sorry i'm supposed to pick it at the center I picked it at the wrong place so let's quickly place it here then let's see this for we to place a door here we need to have a wall coming like this a box so probably we can just oh that should be able to we should still be able to do that so we'll still pick it let's say move so let's try to get the midpoint of this point and mm, midpoint of this point like this so you will discover that i didn't place my door to my right the swing to my right but the swing was to the left this is important because it helps you to minimize space if you are placing your swing to the right that means the this arch is on this side and this one is on the other side it means your door will open in and it will open into your space and it will be occupying some valuable space so that's why we place doors to the wall so i'll also place one of the windows then we put it off and we'll see how we are going to you do the rest while we we continue so you, you still copy because there's a place you place it pick the midpoint and i think we have a 1800 so we'll put it like this you see shaping up so i'll pause it while we do the rest so once you are done this is what your drawing should look like all you need to do is to play with your rotate and mirror command to be able to fix all your doors using the method i have done so the next thing you are supposed to do is to draw your polyline so you pick on this create, create a layer for it i know you're wondering what polyline is used for so you say poly polyline line so let's have it like this let's toggle this off first so we have a polyline we are not going to use the same line thickness so click on that say okay i still like to leave the color as black so we will pick on your polyline so let's have this like this so we are on the wrong layer so we have to activate that layer of polyline so sorry i think i have our polyline activated so you click on polyline and not line so you have this you click are we are we in order let me see okay you ensure you are clicking at the edge so you have this i also have this so it's closed so let's see what that does you come back and toggle your line with so you see you have it and it's appearing like just one entity so that's how you follow all your walls around with the polyline line selected and your polyline layer activated so we are going to do that i'm going to pause it you do that on your own while i finish up my own so then we continue after using your polyline round can you see it seeing it so the next thing we have to do is to hatch our drawing make it look more like a revit model in, in some revit model you see that the walls are hatched so all you do is quickly create another layer let's create another layer and label it hatch so we are going to change the thickness let's just put it as default okay so let's have it let's activate it so let's close it so let's keep 
click on our hatch command this is it click on your hatch command see it's on solid it's on solid you click on it while clicking on it you discover that it's dividing so uh, let's do this like this so you see but it's not looking okay the grid line is appearing on it so what we have to do next is we we'll select all our grid line like this we select all our grid line like this then we will now say what we we'll right click then we will now say draw order say send to back you will discover that it is now looking clean and if we want to hatch next time it is not going to be okay it's still appearing we still have to repeat the whole process uh, let's see let's draw this let's have it let's draw it at once first i think that will be the first afterwards see we'll, we'll send it to the back let's have it like this have it this way send back. so I'll pause my video until I'm done hatching you can continue else then we'll now see how we're going to send our grid line to the back so so we, after doing all that let's quickly send our grid lines to the back so we select all just like we did before let's try again and see how it's going to look like so we we'll right click we'll go to draw order which is sent to back so you see your drawing is fast taking shape it's looking neat